Hello and welcome to the second movie in this Renderosity tutorial series on Poser Pro 2014 and Poser Pro 10. In this movie we'll take a look at the runtime, which is essentially the library for Poser. Now Poser is not a perfect program and we're going to run into some of the bugs along with it while we do this. So if you've ever sat there pulling your head out going, I feel like an idiot, why isn't this working? It may not be you, it may be the program and we'll see some of those instances pop up today. Why would you want to concern yourself with the runtime? Well, if you are new to Poser, you may not have as much invested in it yet, and that's an especially good reason to go ahead and look at how the runtime works in connection with your library. As I've mentioned before, Poser is a content manipulation program, not a content creation program. So anything that you bring into your scenes to work with, you have to import because it's already been built. We can't create out of scratch in this program like you can with other 3D modelers. So when you install the program, in this case 2014, you get a library folder item that says, hey, here's all your, your stuff in here. So for figures, anything that Poser considers to be a significant item like people, buildings, cars, planes, all are classified as figures inside of this program. Silly I know, but they're building into a legacy type of environment here. Same thing for poses. We can snap back and forth between these and see the poses that have to do. If you have in this case like vehicles, there are poses specific for certain vehicles as well, which could be open doors, other things like that. So you may think, well, that's great. Why would I ever want to worry about adding another content library? Well, let me show you why. I've been working with Poser for a number of years. And in that time, I've acquired a several editions of it. Now, every time Poser launches a new edition, what they do is they take all the content from the previous runtime and they move it to the next one. And they keep doing that. So if you get Poser 2014, you actually get content going way back to Poser 7, unless it's so bad they decided not to include it. And you may think, well, if, if they bring that stuff up automatically, why would I ever want to do another library? Well, the thing is, is if you buy additional content from Renderosity or Content Paradise or other providers, that content doesn't make the move. So potentially, I've got all these other programs that I would have to either go and grab all the software, reinstall it, or go ahead and uh, grab each one of these items and move them manually. Either way, it's kind of a pain. And especially on the Mac platform here, you know, the systems have changed over time. The installers that worked back in Poser 8, those installers don't work anymore in the new Maverick system. So if I want to reuse that content, I would need to go back and manually move it up to the latest version of the library. Don't want to do that. That's why you would create a new library or a new runtime for yourself to work with. Why is it called a runtime? Back in the early days when they were doing this stuff, any folder that had items that was supposed to load into a program after you launched it was called a runtime because when you run the program, it brings all that stuff in. Well, they've kept that name and that structure to make sure Poser works in reverse going back through time so it can work with legacy content. But we get this goofy name, we get this particular folder structure which we have to live with which doesn't look like anything you see in the library and we'll talk about that in just a little bit as we get going. So, we've got our two libraries here, downloads, well there's nothing in mine, and the way you would populate that is by coming over to the content tab and you would have a chance to go ahead and download content from Content Paradise or let me show you something else that's kind of cool inside of Poser. There is a search tab right up here and you've got the options here for local library but notice you've also got options for renderosity and Content Paradise. So if I wanted to say look up something for like a city I could simply select renderosity, choose city, click OK and it's going out to the web and finding things for me that I could purchase. Nice time saver. However, if you're like me and have been working with the program for a while, you have trouble finding things in your local library. I have been doing this for a number of years and have more models than I care to admit just so I can meet professional deadlines. If I click on city again with my local library checked, it's thinking about it, looks like nothing's popping up. Well, let's install some things that would have an identifier of city. Here's how we'll do this and here's where we'll do this. I have a separate runtime for all my purchased content. So to add that runtime into the library here, I would simply come up to this folder, click Add Library, 
I get a modal dialog box and I can drive to where I happen to have this. It's on a separate drive. I've named the folder that I keep all this stuff in the master folder and here's your runtime. The runtimes have specific formats or folders that the program expects to see when you work with it. And as you create it, you need to make sure that it is created exactly like the one Poser is looking for. And in fact, the name needs to be runtime in order for the program to recognize it. Name it anything else and it'll say, yeah, this one's not going to work. It'll give you a warning. So I'll choose open right here. And we see you get added in. It indicates there's 123 items in my poses right here. If I come back to figures, we'll close up the Poser Pro 2014. And it says there's 88 items in here. Now this will change depending on the subject matter you go across the top, props, hands, and so forth. If we disclose this, we can see all the stuff I've picked up over the years to meet jobs and fun assignments. Now, here's one of the first bugs you'll see in the program. At least on the Mac platform with the version of Poser I'm running, when you select another runtime that you've added, another library, you're supposed to see a folder with a little minus sign up here so you can subtract it if you don't want to look at it. That folder doesn't exist. It's a bug. It's not you. It's the program if you don't see that. If you want to subtract this out of here, all you need to do is go to that top level folder that the runtime is in. In my case it was master. I'll drag this over so we can see that so you kind of get the idea of the structure. Here's the library, the runtime, but it's within the master folder right here. All you need to do is change the name of the folder, quit Poser, launch it again, and then after the program launches, you can change the name back. You'll have no folders here. So that's how to work around with that. So let's look at installing content in here. I already mentioned that the folder structure is very specific. Well, in the olden days, or even with some of the current other providers of content, they ship their content, uh, new figures, new buildings, those types of things, with installers and you click on the installer and it asks you where you want to put it and it automatically puts all that stuff into the folders for you. That's really nice. Now, the things you get from say Renderosity don't work that way. Content Paradise does. So Ren Renderosity is a little bit of a uh, different animal in the fact that everything comes in zip files for you to install. We can do that with a feature found in content area of the Poser interface. You'll see right up here at the top, we have install from zip archive. Now this too is not a perfect solution. If it doesn't work for you, it may not be you, it may be the program. And that has to do with how the folders are set up that we get. Let me show you what I mean. Let's go ahead and install from a zip archive. Let's say, okay, where do you want to go? We've defaulted out to where I just loaded the runtime, but that's not where I keep these files when I create them. I keep them in another folder. So I'll go over to as it thinks about it for a second. Let's go over to my folder that's models at Renderosity that I get from Renderosity. Now I've recently purchased a system right here from Dreamland. Really love that uh, particular type of the assets that that author creates. Now I've clicked on one of these zip files and opened it up. And I'm just going to go through this. We see it's got a runtime folder. It has geometries, libraries, readme, textures, all the things that are also found inside of the folder structure in the runtime for Poser. But what I want to do is install the, z the zip file. Now I'll click open. We get a modal dialog box and it says, hey, where do you want to go? I can have it install into the default runtime for 2014 if I want to, or I can go ahead and choose other. And when I choose Other, I'll navigate over to where my own personal runtime is, not the Poser Pro 2014. I'll take a shortcut up here, and I know that I'm going to come down to Runtime. That's inside my master folder. This is how you would normally do this. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Let's see if this one does. With Runtime selected, I'll choose Open. I'll choose Install and it decompresses the file and starts dumping all the folders to hopefully where it needs to go. We'll let it go ahead and complete and if everything worked well all we have to do is come back to pose come to master Now notice I've got 88 folders in the figure category I'm going to click recycle right here and that doesn't change. Hmm. If I disclose this and we start going through it I'm going to look for dreamland and see if that shows up in here 
I do not see it in here. That means there may have been an error in the install. Again, complex program, not everything works the same. Let me grab my folder and take a look. We're at the master folder, which I have my own personal runtime here. But look what I see up at the top here. Even though I selected an install into the runtime folder, it looks like it's taken all these models and placed them in its own Dreamland folder up above. Okay, that's a problem. So here is runtime, here is geometries, and look, here's all the things that need to go into my personal runtime. Yeah, it's a little bit of a hassle, and yeah, it's a little bit of a headache. Understand that it's not you, it's the program that has done that in this particular case. When you install content from Content Paradise, it's a little more efficient. The ones with renderosity, in my experience, have been kind of hit and miss when I use this feature. So how do you get these into the actual runtime folder? Well, it's an ugly business of actually loading them into the runtime yourself and then recirculating the button. And what I mean by that is, is if I open a new window, or actually let me bring up one and we'll just navigate to that. I come to runtime, master, runtime, and where I see geometries right here, let me go ahead and move this over a little bit. I'll need to go ahead and find the geometries folder in my runtime, and this would be the same thing if you were installing into the 2014 folder or the program runtime. Come down to runtime here, I'll look for geometries, and I'll double check there is no Dreamland right here, so what I would start doing in geometry is start dragging Dreamland over to geometries and install it that way. So I can go ahead and go come back here, select these two, and drag them into geometries and release. They install and go through each one of these items and do that individually. I won't take your time to do that. But that is how you can go ahead and bring content in. You then hit recycle and that content's available. So that's working with runtimes inside of Poser.